George Washington first president. Yeah. Through history, you get the evidence. Get Remember, son, I chopped the cherry tree. Ah. We need the future now. This is AI tools are slowly becoming tools of choice for content creation. And with new technologies coming up every day, an interesting future awaits content creators who would prefer to save time and create faster. And with tools like Creative Reality Studio, creating content would not only save creators a ton of effort, but will also help them expand and explore various territories. Creative Reality Studio is a freemium AI platform from the folks at DID. This platform allows users to upload images, text, and with a single click of a button, they can generate animated talking heads with over 100 languages and 270 voice variations. And with this, users can easily make any training, presentation, sales, or marketing videos. And if users would love to use AI-generated images or text, Creative Reality Studio also caters to this, as users only need to put a prompt to generate the image, enter text, click on the generate video, and the content is ready. Creative Reality Studio has also made a name for itself by winning the product of the day on Product Hunt during their launch. And for anyone that is looking at exploring this amazing platform, links to this is going to be in the description that will bring you right here where you can start exploring and creating. And to start creating, you need to sign up. And once you sign up, you'll be allocated 20 credits, which you can use to explore this fantastic tool. And to start creating, you need to go to the Create Video section on the left-hand side, or you can go to the Create Video section on the top right-hand side. Once you click on Create Video, you'll be able to access the presenters and also the Generate AI presenter. Now, for the presenters, there's a couple of presenters that you can shuffle through and select depending on the presentation you're trying to make. Now, if you also like to work with your own personal photo, it is also worth mentioning that there are sets of guys that you might want to follow to get a much more optimized result. Now in this case we're just going to simply select one photo and you can also notice that from this section we can change the color of the background. So just in case you like to key these videos into other backgrounds you might also want to consider setting this as green, play with the dimensions of the image. So you can go from wide which is good for television all the way to square which is good for social media and vertical which is very popular with Instagram reels, YouTube shorts, Snapchat and TikTok videos. But for the purpose of this video, we're going to switch back to wide. On the right hand side, you'd notice that we have type your script and upload your voice audio. So if you have an audio you would like to use, you can click right here and upload the audio or you can type the script. So this is the script that we're going to be using and we can press the playback and listen to it. Additionally, if you run into a writer's block, you can easily use the brand new implementation of the GPT-3 AI to generate the script. So in this instance, let's say we would like to write about the World Cup. And once you're done typing, you can hit the magic wand icon and that automatically generates a script for our presenter. We can press the playback button to listen to this if we want. And if there are places we would like our presenter to observe pauses, we can easily use a timer to add pauses. At the same time, this also makes for a much more natural speaking pattern. If we revert back to a previous text that we used, right here you have language and we can select and take a look at the list of languages. And like we mentioned earlier, this has over a hundred languages which you can scroll through and select the one that best fits your presentation. We might just simply leave this as English United States, go over to the voices and you have female and male voices to work with. We can pick any of these voices that exist, press the playback to preview them and also make changes as we proceed. I loved working with groundbreaking technology. Now, if you're comfortable with the voice, you might want to explore the styles. So we have different kinds of styles that exist right here, from shouting to sad, hopeful, friendly, excited, cheerful, angry, down to unfriendly, terrified, and whispering. So depending on what you want, you can select it. And for this particular one, I think we might just simply leave it as friendly. And all we need to do next is click on generate video. Now, if you'd like to set a title, you can click right here and set a title. And I can click click on generate video. Now once you click on generate video, it tells you the amount of credit that it's using from the credit that you have, tells you the length of the video that you have, the name which is the one that we've just set and if you're comfortable with all of these, click on the generate button and the video starts generating. Now this takes a couple of seconds to generate this video and it's quite interesting how fast this can be. So if you like to play back the video, just go ahead, hover through, and if you press the playback, this will start playing. I loved working with groundbreaking technology. The same thing applies to the previous clip that we have here. If you also like to see that, you can also go ahead, press the playback, and get it to play back. There are certain AMD graphics cards that are used in a small number of Mac computers that cause crashes in Blender when particle systems are used slash imported. And once this is okay by you, you can proceed to export it. So if you like to export, you can click on this button, download, share, or delete. 
in most cases you might want to actually create by simply using AI. This is another place where this tool comes in handy. If we go over to the Generate AI Presenter, we have a couple of AI images that exist here. If you like to work with ones that comes with this, you can use them or you can create a portrait of your own. So you need to give a proper description of the portrait that you want to make for the AI to actually recognize what you want to create or you can play with the ones that exist from here and use them as references. So I can just go ahead and use the hyper real photo of a female lawyer in black business suit, click on the generate button, give it a few seconds for it to generate. If this doesn't feel like what we want, we can click on the generate button one more time and this would proceed to generate another portrait image for us. And for comfortable what we have, we can paste what we want our character to say and then select a new language. So in this case, I'm going to select something different, maybe English, Kenya, that sounds cool. Select from the voices, and I'm just going to select Acelia. Acelia is a good one. And let's press the playback to see what we have. Numeric control tool programmers are now using artificial intelligence. Okay, that's good. We're going to stick with this one. And with this here, we can choose the style that we want and proceed to generate a new video. And it's quite interesting the kind of things that you can do with a tool like this. Numeric control tool programmers are now using artificial intelligence. And with this here, let's talk about one more thing. We've seen how we can generate token heads by simply using the image that exists here alongside text. And we've also seen how we can use generated images alongside text, but we haven't tried out the voice one. So for this, we're going to create a new video, select any of the ones that we want. So maybe for this case, I might just go ahead and select this character. Or, you know, we can go over to the AI and let's just go ahead and select one of these characters. Instead of typing the script, we can go over to the voice upload and I can upload an earlier recording that I did. And once this uploads, if you press the playback button, you can preview the audio. Story is an account of imagery or real people and events told for entertainment. And once you're satisfied with what you have, you can add a name and generate a video with the image that you've selected. And once this generates, you can proceed to press the playback button and preview the video. Story is an account of imagery or real people and events told for entertainment. So this is more like it. And for anyone who would like to use any of these in their presentations, they can simply download it and use it. Or you can switch to the enterprise plan, which offers a PowerPoint plugin that allows you to embed Creative Reality directly in your presentation. The Creative Reality Studio is an amazing AI tool that allows you to use text to drive images and bring them to life. And for those that are thinking about making presentations with talking heads for both marketing, sales and training, then this tool is one amazing one that you can get and start making some beautiful things for yourself. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.